Money Matters is sponsored by Winona National Bank. Personalized banking. My main concerns about banking online was I wasn't sure I had control over it like I did if I did banking actually in a bank. My kids told me that, you know, Mom, you can do this. It makes life a lot easier to be able to do it right at your home without having to even go to the bank. I can just do it wherever I am. I do not consider myself a techie person, but they make it very easy. I did not feel mobile banking was difficult to learn at all. Give it a try. You're going to like it. We seem to be constantly bombarded with messages to go online to get our free credit score. But what does a credit score or credit rating really do or mean? Vice President and Personal Banking Manager Sonia Kuntz of Wodona National Bank helps shed some light on the topic. So Sonia, perhaps you could tell us the, the difference, explain a little bit, the difference between your credit rating and your credit score. I think sometimes we get those confused. It is confusing. Credit rating is old school terminology for credit score. So credit score refers to consumers and their credit scoring and the credit history. So Sonia, how does my credit score affect my getting a loan? Dave, it's a huge factor. We, when you come in for a loan at Winona National Bank, for example, and you sit across the desk from me, I'm going to pull up your credit report. On that credit report will be your credit score. That credit score is going to be I used to determine an interest rate that you're going to pay, um, possibly the term of the loan. If you qualify for the loan, you may not even get that loan approved if you have a low credit score. The higher the credit score, the lower the interest rate. What are some of the things that determine what our credit score is? There are several factors that go into your credit score. The biggest factor is your payment history, how you've paid those debts. Have you paid on time? Have you had any lates? Looks like 30 days late, 60 days late, 90 days late. The next factor is total utilization. How much do you owe? How big are your credit lines? One rule of thumb as it relates to that is to keep the balances that you owe on your credit lines, your revolving credit, which would be your credit cards, your home equity lines of credit, maybe you've got a line of credit on your checking account, keep those balances below 30% of the line limits. That will improve your credit score or keep it good. If you're higher, it can lower your credit rating. Other things that affect, that go into that um, credit score would be the length of credit history you've had, how long have you had history. We often see young people coming into the bank for a loan and they have no credit score or just a very limited credit history. So you need that credit history also as part of that. What types of things would affect my credit score? The biggest thing that will affect your credit score is going to be how you've made those payments. One thing I want to mention, I know I did mention about 30 days late, 60 days late, 90 days late. If you are struggling, if someone is struggling and they're going to, they know they're going to be a little bit late, whether their paycheck is coming in short, they've had illness or whatever, First of all, always contact your creditor. Let them know you've got a problem. They can work with you. Typically, they will really try to work with you. But if you're going to fall behind, don't fall behind over 30 days late. When it hits 30 days late, that's when it's reported to the credit bureau. If you're 10 days late or 15 days late, yes, you might have a late fee, but it's not reported to the credit bureau. So payment history is the biggest factor. So we get our report and we take a look at it and our score is not quite what we would like it to be. What are some ideas, what are some things that we can do to build that credit score back up? Best suggestion, pay your payments on time going forward. Don't fall behind whatsoever. Um, another suggestion, if you've got large balances on your credit cards or your lines of credit, reduce those, get those down to less than 30% of the line amount. Uh, another suggestion, don't apply for unnecessary credit. If you don't need it, don't apply for it. And, and one other suggestion, to rebuild credit a little faster, save up $500, as little as $500, put it into your bank account here at Winona National, whatever bank you bank at, and then come into the bank and use that as collateral. You can borrow against that. You'll have a lower interest rate, and you're guaranteed the loan because it's your money you're borrowing. 
Well, Sonia, thank you so much for uh, helping us better understand what our credit score is and how we can fix that if our credit isn't as great as we'd like it to be. Thank you, Dave. It was great talking with you today.